All right, here we go. Fractions, decimals, and percentages. So pretty much the one word that describes all of these three is basically the word proportion, okay? So proportion is simply how we're going to micromanage and deal with all these crazy things, okay? So they're pretty much, let's just, let me just make this clear right in the beginning. Fractions, decimals, and percentages are all actually the same thing. It's just written in different things, different ways. Okay, but let's let's just have a quick look at some examples to understand what I mean. So suppose we had a fraction, one half. We know straight off the bat, at least most of us, that half is the same as 50%. Okay, it's just half of the entire quantity. 50% is also the same thing. And as a decimal, we have the value 0 0.5. Looking closer at, the, at all of this, we can see that 0 0.5 looks similar to 50%. If we put a zero here, we notice that they are indeed the same. So the way decimal works, whatever the percentage is, you copy the first two numbers and stick a point in front of it. That's pretty much my speedy way of understanding things. Yeah, Half is a bit more complicated, which we're going to get through right now. So what is the process exactly? Well, from a fraction, Let's take an example now, yeah? From a fraction, say, 9 20 years. To get to a decimal, we simply divide itself. So 9 divided by 20. Using long division and such, we should get to a conclusion of 0 0.45. Okay, so this is quite clear. Step, and then suppose we want to get, go to a percentage. We just have to multiply by 100 or copy my procedure we just write the two numbers which is 4, 5 and stick a percentage sign if it was any other number say 0 0.373, etc etc we would just write 37 copy the first two numbers and then stick a point and write the rest of the numbers 314 percent if the value was 0 0.2 just one value here we'll notice we have to copy the number and of course there's a blank so we put a zero then we just write 20 percent so you can see the logic between 0 0.5 i.e. 50 is the same thing now the tricky thing is is how to return from a uh, return back to a fraction so let's call this one this this new part number two uh, okay i don't know why my thing is acting a bit crazy okay number two so suppose let's do this again Suppose we had now 20%, okay? Here, we're going to go back to the decimal, which is 0 0.20, or we can just say 0 0.2, which is the same thing. We usually omit the zeros after in any decimal non value that's after the a non zero value. Now, to go from decimal into a fraction, well, there's two ways to do it. First, we look at the number. We see there's only a single number 2, so we write 2 over, and we're always going in powers of 10. So if there's only single digits, there's only one, it's just a 10, so 1, 0, so 10. If it was 0 0.23, we look at, we notice we're two digits, so we copy two digits, we write in the powers of 10, so there's two numbers, there's going to be two zeros, and so on. Suppose we have 0 0.4678, again. This is the same as the whole set, so copy the whole number, and we know there's four values, so there's going to be four zeros. And again, you just, and of course, the final step is actually bother simplifying this. I mean, I'll simplify 2 over 10, divide both up and down by 2, you get 1 over 5. This one, well, you leave it for a rainy day, and say in this one you can divide by 2 and such, but we're not going to do that. So yeah, that's pretty much how to do it. Now, the final part I'm going to add to this exercise is comparing certain values so suppose we had a question which is greater say 0 0.2 or 6 over 25 first things first 0 0.2 is 20 percent now 6 over 25 again you could do the trick which is divide these two divide 6 over 25 you actually get 0 0.24 and we find out that this is the same as 24%. So remember, you can do long division. I mean, alternatively, another skill would be to times up and down by 4 and make it over 100. So we have 24 over 100 is the same as 0 0.24. But that's it, guys. Hope this helps and see you soon.
Ciao.